suffering horrific nightmares. I'm going to do my top 15 favorite camp slashers. Now this is a response to the Horror Man's video about his top 15 favorite camp slashers. Originally I wasn't going to do this video because it's kind of hard to find camp slashers, to be honest with you, um, when you're not using the multiple sequels of Sleepaway Camp or Friday the 13th, movies like that, because that was one of the rules, no sequels. I actually had a hard time, and the reason I wasn't going to do it is because I figured, you know, my answers would be very similar to his. And they are, but I managed to, you know, they're in different placement, and I managed to find a few more that weren't originally talked about. So, without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 15, Camp Blood. This is not exactly a great film by any stretch. But it is kind of fun in a way. It is about a maniac with a clown mask uh, knocking off teenagers. Typical you know, slasher film stuff. But while it's not a great film, it is, like I said, kind of fun. So that's number 15, Camp Blood. Coming in at number 14. Don't go into the woods alone. This took me probably three or four watches to really start to enjoy this film. And I do enjoy this film now. It's not, it's still not one of my favorites. But, you know, it is fun. It is a fun film. And there's a lot of uh, very odd scenes in the film. <laughs> Kind of makes you laugh. This is a good popcorn film to sit down with uh, your buddies and drink a few beers or whatever and uh, just laugh. But that's number 14, Don't Go Into the Woods. Coming in at number 13, The Forest. I actually really like The Forest. I know this movie gets a lot of hate, but I think it's fun. I like the overall plot to it. While the kills aren't great, they, they do, if I remember correctly, they do a lot of cutaway shots. But I think it's the story that pretty much gets it for me. And it's very 80s. You couldn't ask for a more 80s horror slasher film. But that is number 13, The Forest. Coming in at number 12, Bloody Murder 2. Now, I know Joe, the horror man, put Bloody Murder 1 on his list. Um, and I do like that film. Not a lot, but I do like it. It does get the Trevor Morehouse story going for the film. But the sequel is definitely much better. It has Tiff Tiffany Shepis in it. It's, overall, it's more of a, in my opinion, a legit slasher film. But that is number 12, Bloody Murder 2. Coming in at number 11, Wolf Creek. I do love this film. This made my top 25 modern day slashers. Um, and there's been some discussion of whether this is a actually a slasher or a serial killer movie. Um, I view it as a slasher. And the... People that are involved in the film do go camping, so it's kind of a kind of a camp slasher film. I mean, this was a tough this was a tough list. So, but anyway, that's number eleven, Wolf Creek. Awesome film. Coming in at number ten, Wrong Turn. Once again, um, whether this is like a camp slasher. It kind of feels that way to me. Maybe it's because it's in the woods of West Virginia. I'm not really sure. But it definitely seems like a, a camping film to me. 
Although I don't think that they camp. I could be wrong. But anyway, that's number 10, wrong turn. Coming in at number 9, Eden Lake. Eden Lake is an underrated film, I believe. One of the more underrated films to come out in the last 10, 15 years. Um, this is about a, I, I believe it's a husband and wife. It could be they're, he's engaged, although I don't remember. But they go camping on this beach, and they're terrorized by a group of basically young people, thugs. It's, um, it's a pretty brutal film. And I would definitely recommend this to anyone who likes horror. And I mean, I kind of consider it a slasher. But, you know, this list was a tough one, like I said. What constitutes a slasher? You know. But anyway, that is number nine, Eden Lake. Coming in at number eight, Stage Fright. Now, I did do a review on this for my channel. If you're interested in my thoughts, um, check out that review. Uh, I, I love this film. I think it's great. This is about a, a summer camp of the performing arts where there's a killer. And that's all I'm going to say because this movie is, it's wild. It's a wild movie. It has, it covers a lot of different genres. But at its heart, it's a slasher. And this is the mask that the guy's wearing. This actually almost made my um, my slasher questions, the tag that we just went through. Because I think his mask, the Kabuki-style mask, is really, really cool. But I would definitely recommend this film. I don't believe it gets talked about enough. So that's Stage Fright. Not the 80s slasher, Stage Fright, but the, I think this was 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Coming up at number seven, The Prey. This is um, this is one of my favorite slashers. Uh, this really doesn't get talked about very often, probably because it never had an official Blu-ray release or a DVD release for that matter. DVD release for that matter. Um, this is this movie is a lot of fun. I can see, I guess, why people may not like it. It's, I believe it was filmed in the Rocky Mountains. And it has a lot of nature shots in the film. But it is a slasher. It's, uh, to me, it's just a cool flick. This is a burnt copy I picked up at a convention. But I have always liked this film. I re used to rent this a lot when I was younger. It's a lot of fun. About a group of people that go into the woods and uh, get picked off one by one. But there's a reason behind it. You'd have to see it to really believe it. Good film. Good film. Coming at number six. Just Before Dawn. This is a cool flick. Um, this is not one I used to rent a lot when I was younger. This is one of the slasher films that basically got by me. Um, when I was younger and, you know, renting horror movies. I never rented this one. I don't know why. It was always available at my, at my video stores, but for some reason I just did, didn't pursue it. It wasn't until probably, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago that I actually first saw this movie. And I've watched it a lot ever since. This is a movie I definitely like to, um, upgrade to blu-ray because this is not the uncut version this is a two disc uh, shriek show version and while i do love shriek show um the blu-ray is the uncut version i think it has multiple cuts on there but that is just before dawn coming in at number five the final terror this is another one that got by me uh, when I was younger, never rented it. And when Scream Factory put it out, and I heard it was a slasher, 
I picked it up as soon as it came out. This was years ago. And I absolutely love this film. Um, I'm actually surprised this didn't make my top uh, 25 80 slashers. That's how much I like this film. But this has a young uh, Rachel Ward from Night School and a young Adrian Zemed. And I believe he used to be on TJ Hooker, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a really good film. Coming in at number four, Sleepaway Camp. I mean, how could you have a list like this and not put Sleepaway Camp on it? And I do like the two sequels. Um, of course, I'm not a big fan of the bastardized um, Return to Sleepaway Camp. I actually can't stand that film. Um, and I believe it was the original director that did this film. I am definitely, I was very disappointed in Return to Sleepaway Camp. But this film was good. Um, this grew on me, of course. And I think it was the the twist ending that made me want to rewatch this film. Um, that was quite shocking for its time. Still is. But I remember my buddy and I rented this when I was real young. And I was just like, uh, really? At the end. And if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this has definitely grown on me. But that is number four, Sleepaway Camp. Coming in at number three, Madman. And I know you've seen my Vinegar Syndrome uh, Blu-ray of this. But this is my original Anchor Bay um, DVD. Figured I would bring this up. Don't know if I've shown this before. but Madman is such a great film. Uh, definitely one of my all-time favorites. I remember um, I'm trying to think of what year this came out. I think it was 81 or 82. And I remember watching The Swarm on television and seeing the commercial for Madman and I was just like, wow. I gotta see that film. It, is so, it looks so cool. And I was definitely not disappointed. But that is number three. Madman Mars. Coming to get you. Coming in at number two. The Burning. This is a film I think I've stated before that I was not such a big fan of at first. Simply because I felt it was a lot like um, you know, Friday the 13th, and back then I used to defend my franchises and kind of like this was an outsider, a one and done, but boy is this a good flick, such a good movie, I think I probably watched this more than a majority of my uh, slasher films, but anyway, this is The Burning. Oh, crapsy. And number one. You thought it was going to be Friday the 13th Part 2, didn't you? Nope. Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. To me, this is the true camp installment in the franchise because you not only have counselors getting picked off, but you also have uh, children that are at the camp as well. And it just... To me, this is the ultimate camp slasher, in my opinion. Um, I've always loved this film. Those of you who saw my my favorite uh, Friday the 13th piece that I posted a video of, that was Jason from this film. Um, this film had a big impact on me, and I've always loved it. So, interested in what your thoughts are? If you guys choose to do this list, and I'm telling you, it's very tough. Uh, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Especially since the first thing you think of with slasher movies is summer camp, summer camp. But it's very hard to find a bunch of them without using sequels that are in actual summer camps or 
in a camping situation. But, like I said, I'm interested in your thoughts. Comment down below. If you like what you see, hit that like button. And until next time, peace.